Coach, back following the Utah game, and, and boy, what a what a tough game that evening. Kids fought back, did everything you could ask for them, and at the end it just, just wasn't enough. No, you know, it was a strange game, obviously, because of the weather for everybody involved, but uh, I thought our players, I was very proud of how they played. They played uh, very physical, played tough football. Um, you know, we, we just turned the ball over too many times uh, at the end of the day, and um, that costs us, you know, when you lose it five times and, and uh, to their two, that's, that's a tough one to overcome. Yet, still have a, a lot of opportunities to win a football game. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I really felt overall we outplayed them, um, but the mistakes that we had were too costly. Let's, let's start at the beginning with the snow. I mean, how did, does that change anything when you, you know, with, with the kids getting just overly excited playing in that type of, of weather, I, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think it changed a whole lot. I mean, uh, I mean, I think it was on both parts. You know, the, the where I give them a lot of credit is is in their kicking game. I thought that uh, um, they did a nice job punting the football, uh, and they did a nice job kicking field goals. And uh, th those two things, um, you know, was was definitely helpful for them. Your defense started off very strong in that first half and and really limited Utah to just. Um, seven points and that and that came on a on a trick play yeah yeah no our defense did a great job and and uh, you know we, we slowed them down as much or as better as anyone has all year and and I, you know and you look at the fact that we had three turnovers in that first half and and uh, our defense did a heck of a job defending those and uh, not giving up points off those another thing you were concerned about going into the game was just the line play and how physical their defensive line is you were able to move the ball you know, in that first half, just really couldn't capitalize on some big plays. Yeah, we, we couldn't. We had we had plays available to us. We didn't capitalize. I thought our game plan was really good. Um, they they did a they did a good job at times too. You know, taking a few things away from us, but uh, we just couldn't get it in the end zone. You know, like you said, we were moving the football, but we just couldn't get it in there. And and uh, we'd get it close, and something would happen one way or another. We'd have a breakdown. And um, you know, I thought we moved the ball better in the second quarter than we did in the first, but. Uh, um, at the end of the day, you know, we, we got the, only the one touchdown. Second half, kind of dug yourself a little bit of a hole, but late in the game, um, Connor really stepped up and, and made some plays when you really needed him to and got you right back in that ball game. Yeah, he did. I mean, he made some great plays and, and some receivers made a few plays. And, um, you know, going back and, you know, looking at it, there was a lot of opportunities where we dropped some balls and, I missed some opportunities there to capitalize in the first half. In the second half, we did a little bit better job catching the ball, catching the ball and made a few more plays for him. And, uh, you know, the, at the end, when we moved it all the way down there to the, end of the half, uh, end of the game, you know, it um, made a couple of great plays. You know, you go 90 yards, you want to start on the 10-yard line in 58 seconds. I thought against that defense, I thought we did a heck of a job. And, um, you know, and it's still debatable whether Marquise got in on that touchdown. I, um, to me, if you look at the right camera angle, you know I think he did. But it's it's a new point. You know we needed to we needed to uh, kick the field goal, which we did, and put ourselves in overtime, which balanced things back up, gave us an opportunity, and we didn't win. Um, throughout the game, Connor Connor took some hits. He took mm -hmm. a lot of hits, and um, just talk a little bit about the toughness of that kid. Just you know, he got hit, he got back up. He he might be down for a little bit, but he always got back up, and then led you on those drives late. Yeah, I, I just think that shows you a lot about that guy and what he's made of. And uh, that's what great quarterbacks have, though. You know, they have that ability to take the shots and keep playing football. And, and uh, you know, he showed those signs in that game. And uh, I think that bodes well for, for all of us and, uh, uh, and what he's going to be able to bring to this football team, you know, over the next three years. It's a loss, but you do get to have another game played. And now it's the Apple Cup. What do you know about the Huskies? Well, I, I just think that, um, uh, you know, they're a good team. You know, they can score points. They've got some weapons on offense without question. Uh, you know, definitely one of the best tailbacks in the, in the conference, uh, Chris Polk. And, um, you know, probably a first-round draft pick. He's a, he's a bona fide NFL type of a football player. So, you know, it starts with him. Uh, and then they've got some skilled kids at the receiver position. And, and when Keith Price has played and played healthy, they've done a good job scoring points. And so... Um, you know, they're a good team, and uh, we're going to have to play a great football game. You're playing at CenturyLink Field while Husky Stadium is being renovated. 
any advantage that you've been there? You're very comfortable with, you know, with the field and with the setting? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's, it's not something that we, you know, we've been there, so I don't think it should be a big deal to our player. So uh, we just got to focus in on the game and, uh, and do the things we've got to do to execute and play well and, um, you know, and, and, and go play a good hard fight game and, and um, you know, come away with a win. Can you talk, final question, talk about, um, you know, just the team. You've had some, some key injuries late yeah. in the season, had some big position injuries. Yet someone has seemed to step in and, and really step up and fill those roles. I mean, that's got to make you feel a, a great sense of pride that the, the depth for this team is starting to develop and starting to show where you can withstand some of them. No mm -hmm. one can withstand a lot, but you can withstand some of these. Well, where we are today and where we've been just a year ago or two or three is, is a long, long ways. We've come a long ways. And you know, guys like <clears throat> Jake Rogers stepped in and had his first career start at, at offensive tackles, a redshirt freshman. Uh, Connor Halliday, his first start as a redshirt freshman. Um, you know, we had, we had to rely a lot on, on uh, Henry Eady, a true freshman, and Marcus Mason, a true freshman, after Isaiah went down in the re return game and even receiver. Um, you know, you, you saw Bobby Ratliff playing a lot more in there. And so we just have more kids to work with, and albeit young, um, but I was very proud of the way they did it. Chester Sue, a true freshman, came in, started, and just like he played in Stanford, played, had a hell of a football game. And, and uh, it's really good to see more and more of those guys come in and play and continue to develop. They're all young guys, and so <clears throat> that is great stuff. And that's how you build your program. That's how you get better and better as you continue to develop young players like that. Well, let's end the season on a positive note and get a win against the Huskies. No, sounds good. We'll do that. Thank you, Coach. All